Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, it is time to talk about why the summer season fucking sucked. Uh, you started really late on that one. I did? I apologize. How's it going, Lucas? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. You don't know. I do not know. I don't know how anything's going right now. I don't know how anything's going right now. As you can see, Lucas has completely lost his mind. Anyway... It's that usual time of the year where we give our final thoughts of what happened this season. And let's just get right down to it because, oh boy, I got some words. <laughs> R.I.P. Let, let, let's, let's start with some of the good. Slime 2. Part 2. Okay. Um... I really, 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 really liked it. Of course. I think one of the most interesting parts, as I was pointing out all season, was how a majority of the season was just talking. And yet, the show found a way to always keep you enticed. Mm. Through really good character development, and in my opinion, really well thought out and crafted motives. Okay. Like, there was no villain for the sake of the villain, if you know what I mean, right? Yeah. Okay. And other than that, presentation of slime always seems to hit it out of the park, don't you think? Oh, no, yeah, that's pretty decent. They got their own unique style. Stuff like mm -hmm. Character design's always great. But I, I, think the, I think the addition of Veldora just pushed it over the top for me. I can't unsee some... Rule 34 stuff, but yeah, yeah, everything's pretty good. But no, like, the, the addition of Veldora just Ooh. pushed it over the top for me. Ah. And I just, Veldora is one of the greatest. Yeah, I mean, this is a good character. Like, he's one of the best characters in the show. When he was fighting Millilim and he was just rattling off fucking Kamehamehas and Hadoukens and all the things you'd see in Street Fighter, I was dying. No. But no, like, I ended up finishing Slime and I think it's the best show of the season. Yeah. Now, do I think it competes with the best shows of the season, say, in spring and winter for me? Oh. Yes. Oh. I don't know if I have it above ReZero or Fruits Basket, but I think it deserves to be right there with ReZero and Fruits Basket. Okay. And if you're wondering, if ReZero didn't exist, I think there's a chance I put Slime 2 Part 1 as the best show of the winter. Oh. Yeah. The winter? And you watched a bit of Slime now. What, what was your opinion on the second part? No, I watched a fair bit. Yeah, I liked it. I liked it. Didn't finish it just yet. I'm still catching up. Mm. I liked it. It was, uh, it was a lot of... Like, you, you could feel that, like, the there's more build up but then there was the more of, tension the results of like having from season two and then season one kind of you know moved over and it was it was nice to see the development and see what was further than mm -hmm. uh what rumoru becoming a demon lord i guess in this case well one thing i pointed out the comparisons between season two and season one season one was great in its own right but the one thing i think season one really missed there wasn't a lot of like really impactful stories outside of say the orc lord and shizuru yeah that's fair but that like, was also it was season just, one all right it was mostly just world building and comedy right yeah which was fine like slime one's great but slime two found a way to have the world building and the comedy, and tell some really, really impactful stories. Like, pretty much from moment one of season two as a whole, we saw Slime tell some deep, deep stories. Yeah. Which I really liked, and it's why I said it was... Pro I still say it's the best show of the summer. 
which isn't saying much, but let's continue. Um, I want to talk about Maid Dragon next. Okay. I did not give this one a review because I don't think it deserves one. Oh. I think just the fact that we have Maid Dragon back and better than season one is good enough for me. Good enough for you, yeah. Well, just, again, just think about where Kyoto Animation was just two years ago. That's true. All right? Like, just think about it. Just think about where yeah. Kyoto Animation has come. And it isn't and it isn't that they're just not missing a beat. It's the fact that they're just doing it better. Yeah, like, I watched it. both the Violet Evergarden movies. They were incredible. Mm-hmm. People are saying good things about about free, mm. which has its movie coming out. Its movies coming out. Ah, uh, yes, free. There's more Hibiki Euphonium coming, which I am so excited for. Hibiki Euphonium. It's yeah, oh, dude. You, when that thing airs, I will profess its majesty to the moon. No, like, I think the thing about Maid Dragon for me is that it had every reason to not be as good as season one. Okay. Right? It had every reason. The direct, I believe it was, I want to get the exact name, exact thing he was in. I guess a hero Takamoto. Yasuhiro Takamoto. Yeah, he was one of the people who was killed in the uh, attack. Uh, uh. And I want to get exactly what he did for Maid Dragon. Oof. Just give me a second. I believe he was the director. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, he was the director. Ah. And the episode director and script and story a part of the story bar. And like the tribute to him at the end is nice. But it's just again, think about this. We had Kyoto Animation utterly destroyed in mm -hmm. 2019. Mm -hmm. And their first anime back, right? Their first not movie is Made Dragon. And it looks fucking incredible. Looks good. Like it it's so incredible. That I also said the best battle scenes were made dragons. Oh. Like, it's just, I don't understand how. How? Made dragon was so good. So good. But it really just, again, it, it, it symbolizes just how quality Kyoto animation still is. It's still pretty high up there. Yeah, I another show. I, I saw I the plan. commercials for them. That's like crazy too. Yeah, but another show I plan to watch is Vanitas no Carte. Oh, that one. I think I heard something about that. Yeah, it's been getting pretty good reviews, and I always like I always like not watching everything just because it allows me to like find more stuff to watch later. Mm. One thing you notice about this show right away is the stylization of it stylization well you... look at how the characters look right. uh vanitas i need to get back the anime list oh ow is that from this season or last season yeah it is from this season obviously <laughs> well, let me close that But no, like, I've, I really like the way it looks. That caught my eye, so... But then to hear it's doing really well, I thought, you know what? This will be something I'll watch later. There's another show that is going to be like that that we'll get into later. Wait, what? It's a it's a summer show or a fall show? Summer. Oh, this one, Venom's is no carte. Yeah, it's the one about the vampires. Ah, uh, vampires. Yeah. Uh, Next up on the list is... The detective is already dead. The detective is already dead. I, I just, 
I'm gonna be honest. Did, one of the main reasons I took my eyes to shows, obviously, uh, the fact that Matsuri and Fubuki were doing cameos, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm just like, okay, let's take a look. And you know what? First episode was honestly great. I loved the animation. The story of how they met was interesting. Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay, I want to see more. And it just kept going downhill from there. R.I.P. Marcel. The presentation in this show shits the bed from time to time. Ah. There's a specific one, I believe it was episode, I want to say three, ah. where they have a moment where they're running through a, uh, uh, what is it? They're running through a idol concert, right? Since the person they're trying to help is an idol. Mm -hmm. And you can't, you don't have, you can take a look at it when you get a chance. But they're pretty much having them run over a green screen. <laughs> green screen. You like, serious? it's ugly. That's funny. <laughs> like, dude, uh, he, here, here's just a screenshot. Look at how weird this looks. I'll put it in the garbage dump. Like, this just looks weird. Doesn't it? What the hell? Like, all it is is just shadows moving a glow stick. I... And here's the thing. When oh. he's running, the glow sticks aren't moving. Oh. Like, here. This is a shot of him running. Those glow sticks aren't moving during this entire shot of him running. That's that's pretty funny, actually. The one and that like, cracked me up the little... most was that one with the uh, weird looking, the, the old looking car and the polygons that were drew. That that's looked the like one was I was going to go to. <laughs> yeah, no, that's one I was going to go to. The old looking car and the polygons. It's just like a lot of people have been pointing out that this is a show from Katakawa. Yeah. And you remember what I've been pointing out week by week. Katakawa's trying to release more and more anime. Yeah. And like this is a prime example of why this might be a bad idea. Mm -hmm. And what doesn't help this show is that story-wise, this show never goes anywhere. RAP. Right? So like the whole idea is we, we set up this whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. Where he meets this awesome detective and, like, they they hit it off and whatnot. And they mm. become connected, right? Mm. But then she dies on him. Okay. So you're thinking, okay, first episode, let's give him a reason to, you know, want to get back on the horse in a sense, right? Okay, yeah. And they do that nicely by introducing the Gisa who just so happens to have Siesta's heart in her. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's just like, okay, that, that that's weird, but, you know, if that's the way you want to, like, push him forward, why not, right? Sure. The problem is he never, the show never pushes it forward, because after that, they have the whole idol thing, which was connected to it in a sense. So okay. after that, they go into a story about the past. And that story about the past lasts for like almost six or seven episodes. Ah. And it just kills all the momentum of the show. Oh. Because by the time you get to the end of it, you're on, I believe, episode 10. Oh. And then it's just like a last minute rush with this random thing. And all of a sudden it turns out that Siesta can take control of Nagisa's body and become N Siesta again. Oh. And you know how I mentioned, like, the character never, we never really move forward after Nagisa? Yeah. Well, we really don't. Like, you, you think the show would be about finding, you know, what happened to Siesta, right? Hmm. And 
it never pushes forward past that. Oh. Like, we never start looking into, okay, why, what happened to Siesta, right? Mm hmm. The and we never, we never get to that point. It literally never starts out of first gear. Because the final episode is him literally just talking to Siesta and kind of accepting that Siesta is gone in a sense. Okay. And it's just, I feel like this show really needed to just push forward and it just didn't. I don't know why that past arc took so long. Ah. Oops. So I ended up saying, yeah, this is probably one of the worst shows of the summer. And it's not bad, bad. It's bad, disappointing. Eh. So, and... like, 2.5 out of 10 is what I gave it. Yikes. Yeah. And then, of course, next on the list was Kanajo Kanajo. That doesn't seem something like I'm interested in. Girlfriend, girlfriend, baby? Yeah, that just didn't seem something I was interested in. And it wasn't anything that made me want to watch it after if you know what i mean right okay yeah yeah but uh next is remake our life oh i saw some things of canada canada actually it's okay i mean it just it just felt like your typical comedy felt like maybe you tell a different story i don't know but uh remake our life is next and this was one i was really excited for Mm -hmm. But it never really took off. Oh. I, I word it like this. Remake Our Life is a strange show. We see the quality in it, but mm -hmm. the show never really grasps it. It just kind of slides through and never really gives you the satisfaction you'd expect from a show like this. It sets itself up for redemption and then just kind of does nothing. Oh. Like, the, fi the final episode is a great example because he goes back in time as a way to, like, make, remake the future, but in a way where everyone is healthy, right? Okay. And then the show just kind of, like, ends. Just ends. Like, it doesn't do any forward arcs. It doesn't really show what happens. All okay. it does is has uh, the main character meeting the guy who ran away, and that's it. The main character? the Oh, the guy that just decided to not pursue being artist or something? Be a writer. Right, the writer, yeah. And that's it. Like, nothing really came of it. And I'm sitting there just saying to myself, no, we needed to see something. And the frustrating part is this show also banks itself as a romance. Mm. There's no romance <laughs> in this show at all. Oh. And you, you know what the funny thing is? I did some more research on it, uh, mm -hmm. on this, and uh, apparently, Kiyoya marries all three of them in different timelines. Oh. Yeah. Apparently, Kiyoya <clears throat> he ends up marrying all three of the care, all three of the main girls in different timelines. Oh, he marries. Of course, we saw the one where he married Aiko. Mm -hmm. Then there's a timeline where he marries Nanako, and then there's a timeline where he marries uh, Kasagawa. Oh, that's and it's just. That's weird. That's interesting, I, I guess. What, there's, if there's one thing that I uh, really wanted from this show that we never really got, mm -hmm. I wanted some sort of satisfaction. You, you mean instant satisfaction? Well, just anything, really, because I'm... Watching the show, it felt like it had all these big, like, moments, right? Hmm. Nothing happens. 
Okay. The only instance of satisfaction I got this entire show was when Kasagawa just laid into Kiyoya for trying to make everything his fault. Okay. That's it. That was it. And it's just, I don't know. Maybe I've just had too much expectations, but I look at real life and, like, nothing comes close to that. Well, yeah, real life was, was fucking crazy. Like, real life was incredible. And I feel like Remake Our Life was just too scared to try anything. Ah. Like, it sets up all these things. A love triangle, conflict, and whatnot. And then it just doesn't really go through with any of them. In an attempt to make you think that the main character... Like, I feel like it tries to tell the story like, Oh, you should have changed timelines. Okay. And it just kind of falls flat. So I ended up giving it a 7. Ah. Uh. It wasn't anything worth my time in the end. I don't know. Seven. I'm not, I'm thinking maybe my expectations were uh, too big. Maybe. But uh, moving on to another show that sucked. Realist Hero. Lol. It's getting a second season. Oh. Which I genuinely think... Is poop? Is going to be better. Oh. Because I thought the final episode of this... The final arc of this season was good. With, you know, the whole armed conflict against that one lord. Mm-hmm. But, like, everything else of it was just such a slow, mundane, and boring. Oh. We are literally watching a guy do his taxes. Lol. Like, you've read some of this, haven't you? Yeah. I just... I don't know, man. I was bored through 90% of it to the point where I didn't remember 90% of the characters' fucking names. Like, you could ask me, oh, who's that girl? Um, that's Blonde Princess Wife 1. Hello, who's that boy. girl? That's Elf Warrior Wife 2. Who's that girl? That's Fish Singer Wife 3, right? I love the three wives. And that and that gets to another problem with the show has. It's too many cooks in the kitchen, right? Too many cooks in the kitchen. There's also that. There are, oh. there are so many characters in this show that have a single fucking purpose. That's it. Oy vey. And because of that, the char those characters don't grow at all. It's like they're stuck in their one thing, and they can only do one thing and one thing only. Well, let's just hope second season's better. I do think the second season will be better, because hopefully <clears throat> it's done through all the boring shit. Mm. But yeah, before we get to the next show, there's uh, Sunny Boy. Sunny Boy. You know, the Madhouse show. Oh, that one. I've been hearing good things about it. Uh, is, isn't it just like literally all those other... Um, what, like... Um, Alice in Wonderland, whatever shit. Squid Game. Maybe. I mean, I haven't watched it. It is... Uh, pretty much 36 students in a void dimension. Ah, there you go. Void dimension. But, like, it... It's apparently got good reviews, so I think it might be worth checking out. Mm. And then another one after that is, uh... Jahai Sama. Ah, right, that You one. know, the one that people are calling, like, a, uh... I think people reference this show as, like, similar to... Devil's a part timer. Oh. And like I can see the comparisons. Okay. Interesting. Mm. But uh, another show I watched is uh Spirit Chronicles. This show fucking sucks. I read the manga, I didn't want to watch it. 
Oh my god, it's so bad, Chewie. I know it is. I read the manga. I don't want to watch it. Like I mentioned before, it had it had a chance with its premise. But then it just does all the stupid overdone isekai tropes. And you know what the worst part is? What's that? You know what I've been craving, right? Which is him to find, like, people from Japan. Mm-hmm. The fucking show cock blocks us at the end because at the end of the season, he finds the girl he loves. Oh, yeah, that's right, he does. He does. And I just sat there just like, are you fucking kidding me? Nope. Like, don't you think that might have been something to do, you know, when we were in the middle of this freaking nonsense? So, yeah, no, at that point, I was just like, nope, get me out of here. Yeah. It, it, it's bad. It's a, it's a show that had a chance to be good because of its premise. But I'm just like, I was just, what? it just never did. Yeah. Ugh. And then another show I plan to watch, and I'm guessing you have either watched or are planning to, Moonlit Fantasy. I watched the first couple episodes. It was good. Yeah, Moonlit Fantasy, it it surprised me with how much good reviews it was getting. But yes. I, the way I'm thinking it, think of it is that it kind of reminds me of, you remember that show about the girl who became mm -hmm. what uh, who became her uh shrine spirit guard god yeah remember that show oh sh <laughs> I think it was no. in 2014. Right. Like, I can't remember the name, so I'm just going to quickly scroll through and look for it. But it reminds me a lot of that show where it's more of like, there's far more than meets the eye type of thing. Ah. Uh. And, like, that's the feeling I get from, like, seeing how people are talking about it. Which makes me generally excited to watch, watch it eventually. Moonlit Fantasy... And I like how, okay, you want to, I don't think the fans really care in this case, but the reason why Marcel didn't even watch this in the first place was because it was weird. And then he just, now he regrets it. And he's like, yeah, oh. It just it looked was, a bit too weird for me. And now it's hey. the type of weird that he would he wants to be part of. Well, I mean, it's also apparently really good. There's a guy I follow on Twitter, there's a guy I follow on Twitter who's giving <clears throat> it good reviews. Uh-huh. But you won't listen to him, Chewy. Well, I mean, I don't listen to you out of spite, but that that's just the truth at this point. Yeah, and you're paying for it. I know, I know. I willingly accept my punishment. Now let's keep moving on. Um, oh, where was I? Where was I? Otome Game Season 2. Oh, yes. I liked it. But I also don't know what else I can say about it. <laughs> yeah, it's like... I don't know. Like, it's it's pretty much a Tome game season one, just with a little more story. Yeah. I think there could have been. I feel like they ran into that area where it's like... Uh, they really actually didn't have that much left to do. Yeah. Yeah, that's why they're... Is it, it looks like they're creating their own story for the next thing. Which is interesting. I like it. I really do. I think they're just going to have to work a little bit harder on that one. But, Please. like, I don't think there is a single reason to watch this show if you didn't like the first season. Yeah. Yeah. Which, you the... know, is, it's normal. There's nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with not liking this thing. Moving on to uh, Aquatope of the White Sand. You can have bad opinions. I mean, opinions. Wow. I, I think one of the interesting things about Aquatope of the White Sand is, like, it's 24 episodes. Yeah. But you feel like the first 12 was, like, a good ending to the first story. Hmm. Like, the whole first 12 episodes were about, uh, 
Kukuru and her struggle to keep the aquarium open that she loves. I'm getting some feedback on your end, my dude. What? I don't know. It's some weird buzzing feedback. It's like, mm. Oh, maybe it's this plane flying by. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it's this plane. But anyway, it's Kukuru's trying to keep the aquarium up, and mm -hmm. you're wondering how this is going to go, right? Yeah, and I was going into foul season to figure out what's the next 12 episodes. Well, the thing is, the aquarium shuts down. I know, but is the, what is the next 12, season, 12 episodes will be in the fall season to figure out what's going on, right? Right. Well, well, the... Well, the first episode of, like, you know, the newest part aired, and it's pretty much Kukuru and her <clears throat> friends moving on to this new aquarium. New aquarium. And Kukuru is thrown into a place where she hates what she's doing. Mm. The people around her are assholes. Mm. And it kind of is trying to tell the story, I think now, of, like, I don't know, it's weird, because Kukuru was thrown in, instead of working in Aquarium, she's working in PR. Okay. Even when she did a good job, her boss pretty much told her to stop fucking doing that. Mm. And she's not doing what she's enjoying, so she's having trouble with it. Yeah. Thankfully, Fuka showed up at the end of the episode before she truly broke down. But no, I'm generally interested. I'm, I'm kind of surprised they didn't keep the whole trying to save the aquarium thing throughout the whole season. Nope. Like, that isn't usually how PA Works does their working series. Is it... Fuka's the idol one, right? Yeah, Fuka's the idol one, Kukuru is the blue-haired one. Yeah. And then... Other than that, there wasn't much I've watched left, actually. Uh, I watched Peach Boy Riverside. That was... I've spent too much time on that. That was just a piece of shit. Rip I finished Higurashi. Higurashi was really good. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about the ending because it felt like they are trying exceptionally hard to set up a sequel. Oh. Yeah. That's not good. Um, I watched Kageki Shoujo. Okay. That show never felt like it got off the ground. That's the, um... That's the theater one. Theater one, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch like, it's show. good. It's good. But I felt it could have been great. Yeah. Could and then the better. final show I watched that I still can't believe I watched is Scarlet Nexus. You watched that instead of Moonlight Fantasy. I, I know, Chewie, shut up. You don't need to keep reminding me. I'm going to keep on reminding you to the day you die. Wait, can't... Oh, time out for a second. I just need to check something because apparently Kyoto Animation has a similar show. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? But no, um... Scarlet Nexus is the type of bad that is at least entertaining bad. Is it really? Or is it Stockholm yeah. Syndrome? No, no, I don't think so. I think it is entertaining bad. Okay, you say so. I at least enjoy the idea of it, but like... Oh, this episode, this last episode yesterday just flew out the fucking window. Mm. Oh, they introduced the fact that humanity you, used to live here, but now they live on the moon. Yeah. And they sent people down to humanity to, you know, check it out, right? Mm. And that was like 2,000 years ago. Okay. What happened after that is particles in the world in space started falling on the moon and infecting people and turning into these creatures called the Other, right? Okay. So... For the moon to deal with that, they ended up sending all the particles somehow down to Earth and blocking off Earth with this thing called the Extinction Belt. And they will occasionally just drop particles into Earth. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
This is a show that already had a story about trying to stop an apocalyptic future and time travel. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's bad good. And there's still like 12 more episodes left of it. There's a video game too, this man. I know, I know. Apparently, actually, the video game's actually pretty good. I mean, it's better than the anime. It's gotta be. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, other than that, I did not watch anything else. So, Chewie, I'll leave it to you now. What else did you watch this summer? Remain. Did you? Are you actually going to finish it? I got to the... Well, I think it's the last two episodes, so no. No, I didn't finish it. Are you going to is what I'm asking. Uh, okay, I guess I'll, I'm already too deep. I'll go back in. I'll go back. Uh, I mean, I'll dive back in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I guess we got to take a look at it. We got to finish this out. We got to finish this out, man. I'm already in. I'm already in too deep. Um... I watch some Make You Black Company, and I have to go back. I haven't finished that one either. You know, but, when I look at Make You Black Company, it kind of gave me the same vibes as Moonlit Fantasy. Yeah. Yeah. Except this guy's in a even worse position, because he's in a fantasy black company. Another show I plan to watch, actually, that I didn't mention is uh, Fena Pirate Princess. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know that show that Crunchyroll really helps get made? I was looking at that one. It's apparently doing really well. Wait, is that the... Kaizoku Ojo? Yeah. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Yeah, Fena Pirate Princess. Yeah. But yeah, that was the summer season of what we watched, and needless to say, it did not end up turning that well, I'm gonna be honest. Mm -hmm. Even, like, some of the shows that I didn't watch didn't turn out, like, it's just... We still have Boku no Hero Academy and Tokyo Revengers, thankfully. And, and Eater well, McCoon. But those McCoon. were, yeah. like, spring season that came over, right? So I don't sure. hold them too much to the summer grade At least I mean, don't, get me, don't get me wrong i think my hero academia season five is the best story wise my hero's ever been mm. and well actually i want to talk about tokyo revengers bit okay i really did not like the ending of this last one yeah well r.i.p marcel because i felt like they were it was kind of pointless. Mm. Like, we already knew Kisaki was bad, right? Okay, yeah. So having him do that at the end of the season doesn't really... It doesn't really show me much more, if you know what I mean, right? Okay, sure. Like, oh, Kazaki ended up tricking them and killing both of them in cold blood. It's like, well, we've already seen this before. Like, we already know he's bad. I know he's very bad. So, like, what I'm thinking is, why not set up the se set up the eventual sequel? Since I do feel this show will get a second season. Ah. Oh. Like, I feel they will at least get through the whole Kazaki story. I don't know if they'll cover the next Mikey story, which I'm going to be honest, isn't that good. Yeah, you're not very good. Like, have you been reading the latest chapters? I've read everything so far. But have you... So you're up to 224? I believe I'm a little behind, but I, I've read up a lot. I don't know if you the latest feature one. Yeah. The whole, well, just spoiler, the whole final act is about saving Mikey, because instead of, like, being a normal fucking human being, Mikey's just like, I still want to be an edgy criminal. Well, I got a text message, whoops. Right? Yeah, 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 he wants to be, he's part of the And so gang now, gang. Takamichi's going back in time to save Mikey, and it just feels, like, why are we doing this, right? Why, Marcel? Well, no, I'm asking a serious question. Why? We had a perfectly fine conclusion 
So why do we need to continue this? I don't know. We want to kill people. I don't know. Like, don't you don't you think that if Tokyo Revengers ended on like Stomp Kazaki, Hanada's alive, they're getting married, everybody's good, that's a perfectly good ending, don't you think? Uh, sure, I guess. Like, like it just feel to me, it feels like they're dragging it out for no reason. I honestly thought it was just more than being Kisaki and stuff like that, but hey. Right. <clears throat> well, no, but like, I'm saying that it's like the bare bones in a sense. Oh, okay. Like, Kazaki's dead. The gang is no longer corrupted. Everyone is finding a new happy life, right? Hmm. So why do we all of a sudden need to have to go back because Mikey's being a psychopath? Like, why can't... My, like, there was no reason for me to believe that Mikey's all of a sudden gonna go, nah, I want to continue being a gang member, member. Fuck you all. Okay. But anyway, the ending of Tokyo Revengers, while being not that great, it's still... Knowing where this story goes, it makes me want to see season two. Okay. Yeah. And, by the way, Season 6 of My Hero is already confirmed. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, which is understandable. It's going to be the most important season in My Hero's history. Mm-hmm. But, uh, speaking of new shit... Well, actually, no. What would you get... Before we start talk about new shit, if you had to give a grade to the summer season, what would you give? A C minus. I gave it a C plus. I gave it a C minus. Well, that's because I didn't watch a lot of shit either. Mm. But I speaking of back. shit we're going to watch, let's talk about the fall season. Hey, boy. Oh, we are combining these ones. Okay. Yeah, why not? That first one was short enough. It was only, what, 30, 40 minutes? All right. Time to, time to touch myself off. I mean, no, no, no. No. So, unlike the summer season, the fall season is stacked. There's a lot of really good shows here. Not as stacked as me. I'm a big boy. Of course, you're a big boy. But let's start with what we are going to watch this year, this season. Or well. more or less want to watch, too. I already know three things you want to watch, Marcel. Four. All right, take a guess and see if you get them all right. Blue Period, 86 Second Season, Tact OP, Destiny, Komi-san. Well, I'm not watching Blue Period until it ends, so that's wrong. Well, fuck you. You were I'm just kidding. You're right. But no, no, actually, let's start Let's start with the obvious ones. Uh, Kimetsu no Yaba, Demon Slayer. Is that second season? Yeah, Third its season? second season is going to include a remastered version of the movie. <clears throat> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. So people who haven't been able to see the movie will be able to get to watch it. Ooh. But, you know, it's okay. I think it's a decent idea, but I can understand why people are upset because they're going to be like, well, then why did we watch the movie, right? Because it was, in, like, super, super animated? I don't know. Maybe it's just different. I don't know. Just to, just, do you remember? Do I remember? Do you remember the insanity when that movie was going off last uh, summer? Well, I mean, the winter. Whole, everyone just playing Homer all the time. Well, it was more just like the amount of money. People really need to look at just how much money Demon Slayer fucking makes. It makes a ton. Yeah. But yeah, no, Demon Slayer, obviously even with the movie being part of it, is still probably one of the most anticipated shows of the uh, fall. If you're wondering, the actual second season, the Entertainment District story, kicks off December 10th, I believe. I'm actually a little bit curious. Why did Kimitsu no Yabe just go off? Is it because it's... It's... A somewhat simple yet not so simple because it built up very well action kind of shonen show oh that's such a good question because you think about like all the show like this is the biggest shonen jump story 
ever, mm. right? Mm -hmm. Like, it fully beats out One Piece, all those other shows. In it... terms of, like, sheer revenue and popularity. I think it's maybe a blend of a lot of stuff here. Not only is it a shonen, it, it started off very simple, bare bones, entered in a little bit of like, you know, uh, the whole questioning of like what, what exactly the, um, I, oh, I forget what they're called now, is it the demons were yeah, basically, demons. and then what exactly caused them to exist and it's like I and think then one the, of the, the things the whole... this show has best is that I think the main character is very, very easy to root for hmm because it's it, because of the struggle that he has and then he's yeah. like with his sister in the end who's still who's struggling very very hard Mm -hmm. And his whole thing is, it's not about saving the world, it's not about destroying the demons, even though that becomes a part of it eventually. He's all about saving his sister, since she's the only family he's had left. Perhaps. Probably. Plus, I also think manga-wise, it's one of the best-drawn mangas I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. Like, I've read the entire thing... And it's just so good. Yeah, same. It's pretty decent. All right, go, going back to fall here. Going back to fall. Well, no, the one more thing I want to say is that we cannot deny a huge factor in this is you foldable. Because mm. remember, I remember when the first season came around a couple of years ago and like it was hype, but like, you know, like this is, it was like one of those, like this could be a hit. Hmm. Yofotable's animation is utterly brilliant. Mm -hmm. Like, th them and Kyoto Animation are probably the two best studios out there, in my opinion. Okay. Alright, but yeah, back to the fall. Uh, we got Season 2 of Mashoko Tensei. Yeah. I this... mean, what can, we, what can we say that hasn't been said about Mashoko Tensei? Today's. It's really good, but it's also, like, really adult. <clears throat> well, yeah. Like, the show doesn't shy away from anything, and I kind of respect it for that. The father of Isekai. Yeah, but part two should be just as good as part one, really. Mm -hmm. Demon Continent. Yeah, Demon Continent is where Roxy's <coughs> going, and the rest of them are going to the Azura Kingdom. I thought they were in the Demon Continent still. Well, I mean, I'm just reading the premise, okay? Okay. Bye. But another one of the hype shows that a lot of people have been wanting an anime for for a long time is Komi-san. Ugh. Ugh. Well, what was with the disgruntled grunt disgruntled i'm not disgruntled i'm happy i'm happy well i mean people have been wanting Kony saw anime for how long now forever it's been a long time and i'm looking forward to this i never read it so uh, i'm going in completely blind it's cute yeah no i'm expecting it it's cute and it's really heartwarming it's very endearing actually yeah it's really endearing but uh, the uh, studio behind it is Olalem. Because, damn, you can relate to a lot of the shit that Komi-san goes through. It's just... It's pretty nice. I mean, maybe not, like, everything, but at least, like, partially. And it's very endearing to see, you know, the progress and stuff. And the relationship she, she gains. You no, know, I am generally interested in it. Yeah, for good reason. Of course, we cannot deny one of the biggest shows is going to be JoJo. Uh, Stone Ocean, was it? Yeah, part six, you know, just before the time loop, which is a whole other fucking story to begin with. Yeah, I don't understand that part. But I don't understand it in general. But yeah, yeah. Sure. But speaking of JoJo, since it's on Netflix, it kind of forced Netflix to do something that they should have done with anime since day one. 
is do release it weekly. it weekly. Yeah, instead of all at once. They're finally doing that now after like years upon years of the Netflix red bars of death just being a death sentence for anime. No need for binging no more. It yeah. is all weekly. But I'm really, I, I'm really excited for JoJo. JoJo Part Five was good, even though it ran into the problem where Giona was just so powerful, it was impossible to believe anybody could beat him. Yeah. But like, I, it, it, it's safe to say, pretty much since Part Two, JoJo has always been riding like the eight, nine, and ten range. Mm. And I don't think Stone Ocean will be any different. Mm. It's also the first female JoJo. It is. But uh, a show I'm not watching, but I don't know if you are, is uh, Platinum End. No. Do you know anything about it? I'm probably just not going to look at it. <laughs> okay, moving on. 86 Part 2. May look maybe in retrospect afterwards, but yeah. Wait, what? Why are you going straight to 86? What? That was next on my list. Oh, fine. Yeah. 86 Part 2. Alright, take the guns out. We're gonna start killing everyone again. <laughs> well, yeah, no. Uh, it's gonna be interesting since you get the feeling that 86 Part 2 is gonna have a different feeling than Part 1. Let's introduce more main characters and start shooting them. Well, true, I'm trying to like actually have a serious question because like Part 1 was all about like the fight with the uh legion you know the lesser class humans right oh oh okay well, yeah yeah right I mean, that and too, how yeah. the entire country was pretty much nazis but with the yes. lesser class humans now gone right mm. it makes you wonder how the show's going to go since you you definitely know the main plot is going to be the reuniting of all of them right of Millilies and uh, Shine. Hmm. But I said how we tragedy, get to that boys. point how we get to that point is going to be super interesting to me. I sense even more tragedy, boys. Oh yeah, no, there's, there's going to be tragedy. There's no fucking doubt about it. I'm sensing even more beyond my, your wildest imaginations. It's time to line up the characters and just put them at the, the, the firing range. Or firing squad, sorry. Let's go! But no, 86 is definitely one of the shows that I am very hyped for. Mm. Moving Excellent. on, we're continuing down the list. Uh, Chewy, uh, Miroku-chan. Oh, yeah. This one's... Yeah, no, I'm, I'm this ready. This one looks great. I'm happy it's getting into anime finally. You've watched this one before. You've read this one before, right? Yeah. Read it up to whatever they can give me at the moment. Like, are we actually expecting a story here, or is this just more? Oh, it's... <sighs> it gets deeper and deeper. It's... Wow. It's amazing. But yeah. in the very beginning, it's not so evident, but they build around in, like, sort of, like, uh, almost in mini como, mini stories, mini comas, in a sense. But I'm wondering how they're going to, I'm wondering how they're going to deal with that. But it's, it's, it's well done. Like, it gets, it introduces the characters first, it does the world building a little bit, it kind of talks about certain things, and then it gets more in-depth. And then there's, like, certain arcs that um pop up and it's like oh oh it gets better and better like the art is amazing with these like otherworldly beings and stuff it's i yeah i just yeah i can't wait can't wait i can't wait to be scared out of my fucking pants this fucking art well it's something i'm looking forward to yeah this Supernatural another, another way. Another one I'm looking forward to actually is oh, it's probably one of the more up and down shows. It's the original work from Madhouse and Mappa called Tact OP Destiny. This is the music one, right? 
Yeah, the musical composition formed a dwelling power in a girl, a legendary opera, a magnificent composition created in a past, a new life, music arc imbued with the score, an ethereal, beautiful, and fateful tale of girls fighting with power of musical scores in a world where music has been forgotten. Ah. They just aim for the delight that lies beyond tact OP connects music to tomorrow. Mm. I will say it helps that uh, the designs of the characters is a designer I really like. It's uh, Lamb. Oh. She's the one who drew Ollie. Oh. And you can clearly see, like, Lamb's influence on all the characters, but especially, like, the ones who are apparently the fighting ones. Mm. But it's interesting. The whole take on it is definitely something, if you know what I mean, right? Mm. And I want to see where this goes, but can I just say that first trailer is fucking orgasmic? Okay. I didn't see it, but okay. Here, I'll link it to you, but, uh... I can't watch it, though. You can watch it later. No, oh, fuck you. But, uh, it makes me wonder, like, is Madhouse the one dealing with the plot and Mappa only dealing with the presentation? Uh... Somebody's doing something. Somebody's well, I mean, it is a double work, right? Somebody's just producing, somebody's actually just doing the actual... <laughs> All right, well, you sk can we go to the one that looks like you might have skipped here? I didn't because it was what do you think I skipped? Blue period. That isn't considered that's considered an O and A. It says here it's not. And no, I'm scrolling down to Annie list and it considers it an OVA, O and A and special. Oh, well, it doesn't say anything here. Yeah. But we'll talk about blue period. Says here, this is an actual thing. Sure, we're talking about Blue Period, so like, start talking about it. It's good. It's yeah. No, it's... I've I've heard a lot of good things about this as well. So, if even if you like, you're like me, and you don't do art, and like me and Marcella actually, me and me and Guru, we we don't do art. This thing. I told you Lucas all the time. Huh. I've called you Lucas all the time. I know, but I'm just saying. It's, it's just... It makes me want to still pick up my pencil and just doodle, in this case. And don't or you something. love when shows make you want to do something? Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, I understand that I will probably never get to this point of being an artist, though, because it is yeah, no, so like, intense and it's so it's so. That, that, that's how I feel watching like ninety percent of the art streams from the VTubers I watch. But it's cool because they talk about everything in this. It gets like in, even more and more in depth about things, and it's, it's also it's cool lovely. just to see stuff get created. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, and and then to look into like the mind of what potentially would an artist would be looking at in a sense, you, you know, I mean, it's like it's not every artist's mind, but it's like, yeah, and that's the whole. I guess that's the whole point with like having all these multiple main characters to see their different like views and stuff like that. But it's 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 beautiful, man. It really you can't help but like it, it uh, just wrapped up in the main character's journey and then looking at the other characters as they as they come by and then looking into their development everything it's it's, it's really well done i i can't wait for this one it'll be something i check on later that's a guarantee yeah i don't know if i can watch it right right off the bat but yeah i'm i'm it is on excited. netflix oh no okay Alrighty, next up is a fall show that lines in the just, what the fuck? It's a fall show? What's a fall show? Sakai Saiko no Anastashusha Isekai Kisoko ni Tensi Suru. Ah, the world's best Better. assassin. Yeah. Am 
or the world's finest this... assassin gets reincarnated in another world as as the as an aristocrat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The world's finest assassin gets reincarnated in the world as an aristocrat. I actually read the manga for this one. It's not that bad. It's Bullshit. Really not. It's actually not. This too literally bad. looks like your typical isekai. It it does, but it's actually not too bad even though it is in pretty much yeah it is pretty much a regular feeling of that might effect. be something i look at later but like i it looks just no apparently this assassin has been given a task by god for this world to kill the hero that she will be transporting into the other world yeah, he has to eliminate a super powerful hero who bring the end of the world unless he is stopped Seems like it's a cleaning up it a mistake type It feels like it's trying thing. to do something different, and then it's just like... Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, there's still the, you know, regular Isekai stuff with the itchy yeah. and stuff and multiple... Wait, did you just say targets. etchy? Yeah. Speaking of etchy, Shumetsu no Harem. Yeah, okay. We're just gonna gonna move past that okay uh Next no we one. aren't we're gonna we're going to at least acknowledge it because how the fuck is something like this getting an anime i'm going to end the call marcel if we talk about this we will not <laughs> talk about the show itself we'll talk about the fact that something like this is getting an anime well byron just messaged me gay i told him hey. we ain't gonna be much longer oh okay you just listened gay in the day mm-hmm but no, I, I'm just going to straight up say it. You'd have to pay me to watch this show. I mean... Okay. It literally looks like one of the most vile and disgusting things I've ever seen. I watched the trailer, and the trailer was 90% just men getting raped. Yeah, yeah. I don't get how this is getting an anime. Hey, Marcel, I'll watch it for you if you do something for me. What are you gonna ask? I'll ask you, and you and you, you'll just you just can't say no. Hmm. Uh, no paladin. Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. Far away paladin. Yes, Marcel. Incredible. I I'd like to hear why you're going Fucking yes yes. Incredible. This is a great. Great freaking story. Mm. Very good so far. I really liked it. Okay, you have got me more interested in that. It's, I'm gonna add it to my list. It's it's different, but it's it's so well, well like I haven't gotten too bored of this story, honestly. It's so so good so And that's far. impressive considering you. <laughs> It is, it is. Um, I'm not going to say it's the most hype thing I'm very hyped for, but I'm going to say this is a pretty decent level. Like, I want to see so, what it's this... It's something that you expect to be at least above average. Yeah, yeah. I do expect it to be above average, at least. So I, I'm really curious to see what type of um, adapta anime adaptation, you know, the result will be of it. Basically. Well, it's being done by a studio that hasn't done much before, so it's going to be interesting. Children's Pro Playground, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll, so we'll, but, see. Uh, we'll see. Moving on, we remember how we had a pharmacy anime last season? Uh, we got another pharmacy anime this season. Uh, Banished from the hero's party, I decided to live the quiet life in the countryside. You've seen this, haven't you? No, I'm, I'm so angry why my pharmacy one was never put up. Fucking bitch. Fucking bitch ass. The heroic anime. and mighty adventure dreams of opening a. Pharmacy. Damn you, anime world. Damn you. Red was once a member of the Heroes Party, a powerful group destined to save the world from the evil forces of Tarakson, the raging demon lord. That is, until one day his comrades kick him out. Hoping to live the easy life in a new frontier, Red's new goal is to open an apothecary. However, keeping his secret his secret former life is not easier is not as easy as he thought, especially when a beautiful girl named Rit 
An adventurer from his past shows out and asks to move in with them. Uh, this this yeah. literally just feels like your typical isekai, doesn't it? Uh, I'm so angry why my fucking pharmacy one is not up here. Why okay, it is. what is your pharmacy one? It's just called the Otherworldly ph Pharmacy. Where it's legit a pharmacist is isekai'd into another world and literally opens up like a, 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 a well gets reincarnated into another world where it's like magic. Oh, parallel like world pharmacy. Yeah, yeah. And then um his family's like doctors and stuff. Mm -hmm. So so he's already thrown into the medical world. But the thing is, it's like it's old school. It's old school uh, oh, this medicine. Oh, cool. I'm reading the premise right now. Yeah, it's old school medicine and stuff like that. And due to, like, his magic and the fact that he's apparently the god of medicine, in a sense, with his powers, he can start, he starts to make, like, advancements to modern medicine and stuff like that. And he teaches the, this world about it. And it's super awesome. Why can't that one be his? <laughs> Speaking of a show, though, I'm looking forward to, it is uh, Senpai Ga Uzai Kohai no Hashi. Hanashi. Is that the one with the, um... You, you, you know Uzaki-chan? Yeah. It's pretty much reversed. Now the man's a pain in the ass and the girl's the one not wanting to do anything and it looks cute as fuck. Ah. Uh. It's pretty much my Senpai is Annoying is the name and it looks absolutely adorable. Ah. Uh. I'm looking so forward to it. Hey, one I'm probably going to watch as well, because I actually watched the second season of it. World Trigger. Yeah, that's coming up. I will eventually get to this show. Okay. So, I I feel like World Trigger got a lot of hate in the first season, which is understandable, because it was Toei, and Toei was kind of... Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't remember World Trigger getting that much... It's not that yeah. they get flack, it's just like it got a little interest because it's, it's, yeah. Yeah. But I feel like second season did a better job, and I'm, I'm, I'm ready for more third season because the story's just getting better and better. Oh, we get the fourth member soon of Tamakama. Oh, and then we get yeah, a, I think it's something story. I may eventually get to. Um, There's another show coming out called Visual Prison. It looks like this edgy vampire in an anime. In the anime, vampires perform visual K music and gather together in Harjuku, in an event known as Visual Prison, under the Red Moon once a year, performing visual K to an to entrance an audience to offer best songs to the Red Moon above. Wait, is this an idol anime with supernatural themes? It's an idol anime with vampires. Oh, just and all the vampires are. Anime, anime husbandos. Yeah, okay, sure, yeah. Yeah, no, moving on. Isekai Shokudo 2, yeah! Yeah, and food that comfy. actually its first episode aired today. Food comfy. I'm ready for more food comfy. I gotta rewatch the first one and then get more food comfy. Another show I am actually in... There's so many vampire shows this summer, fall. What's up with vampires, man? I don't know, but Arena the Vampire Cosmonaut... Oh, is... you know why? You know why? People are getting hot over Lady Dimitri, probably from Village. Maybe. Maybe. But no, Arena the Vampire Cosmonaut Maybe is that something that just took me right away. Are you talking about this... What? Which, which one? Arena the Vampire Cosmonaut. Arena the Vampire Cosmonaut. I don't see it's, this uh, one. It's Suki to Laki to Nosferatu. Um, this one. I don't know why, but when I first saw this, it took me right away. I mean, I read East History, 1960. Yeah, yeah, I'd see that up your lane. <laughs> the no, first I'm astronaut just... in human history was a vampire girl. Uh, uh, World War Two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Federal Republic of Zemetria. Yeah, no, no, no. The East and United Kingdom of um, Arnak. Yeah, okay, yeah, I see this up your lane, Marcel. Yeah, I do. I don't know how to react to that. <laughs> I see this up your lane, indeed. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? No, I think it's a good thing. Nosferatu project, yeah, yeah, project and program that experiences vampires prior to man mission. Yep, okay, yeah, uh huh. And that looks like either a female vampire or a t 
Tom Girl, which I think is both still up your lane here. I don't know how to react to this, so I'm just going to move on. Um, I'm guessing you're not watching Taisho Otome Otajibanashi. What the fuck is that? In a story set in 1920, Tamahiko is the son of a wealthy family, but his life has changed forever when an accident cripples his right arm. Uh. No longer considered by his father as the heir, he is shuffled off into a country to live into the country to live out of sight. There, he shuts himself in his new home, barely thinking of it as a place where he will die. He learns oh. that his father has bought him a bride to take care of him. The... When the young girl T Yuzuki comes into the door, she arrives as a ray, innocent ray of sunshine, and his worldview starts to change bit by bit. Oh, it's one of those, one of those shows. Okay, probably not. It... Seems kind of nice and cute, but you know what? Probably it not. doesn't seem like anything spectacular. No, no, no. It's just, you know. What about Sakugan? Oh, right. I saw a trailer for this one. This looks yeah, pretty interesting. Yeah, this is the um, latest thing from Sat White. It's one of the mech ones, right? Uh, in a distant future. Yeah, yeah this it does have like mecha. Mech. Yeah, it is mech. I'm looking at the trailer right Several now. Companies so severe settings such as one having an insanely high temperature, while another is full of gold and silver. Among these, in the colony proves. His workers aim for oh, survival. It's a they live with daughter the... show? Yeah, it's father daughter show. As the workers aim Doesn't that survival, remind you of that? Uh... Oh, interesting. You know, oh, I know what vibes I'm getting. Hmm. I'm getting vibes. Remember that original anime that came out a couple of years ago, where the people ended up, or ended up just being part of a game, and humanity was sold off. Sold off. Humanity was sold off to a bunch of aliens. Mm -hmm. And they ended up being part of a game that the aliens would play. I don't I don't know this original. I I I'm gonna scroll back. Just give me a second. Keep talking about this, by the way. Why am I getting like Last of Us meets like Spelunky or something like that. I I couldn't tell you there, Chewy. Or maybe Dig Dug. Dig Dug. Dig Dug. Oh my god. Dig 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 Dig. Or maybe Made in Abyss a little bit too. Oh, this is gonna bug me forever. What the fuck was its name? Hmm. Oh, oh, this is gonna bug me forever. Give me a second. I'm gonna find this. Because it was one, it was one of the more well-known shows that that aired. I believe it aired in 2019. Oh god, this is gonna bug me forever, and it's gonna piss me off. Gantz? No, it, it had a weird name. Uh. Oh, God. And I thought it was by satellite, but it wasn't. Uh... Gleipner? No, but that was another weird show. Oh, oh, this is frustrating. Like, I'll know it the second I see it. Because is it, it a was... sci-fi one? Yeah, it was sci-fi. I remember the plot. The plot was... And it was an anime? Yes, and the world was taken over. It was sold to these weird computer-like aliens. And they... Aliens would end up playing a game where they could, like, take over... Humans, in a sense. I want to say take over humans. They were given human-like bodies. And it was treated as a game to them. Oh, it's on the tip of my fucking tongue. How long ago was this one? Was the Dem in Wonderland? No, it's not Dem. It was within the past three to four years. I want to say it was 2019. Hmm. I will find it if it fucking kills me. 
We're going to be stuck on this one for a while, aren't we? Yeah, well, I'll give it another five minutes at most. Hmm, let's see. Orange? Well, like, it was well known, too. Kisniver? No, it's not Kisniver. Kisniver was a romance. Mm, well it has known. mech aspects to it. Inuyashiki? I found it! Decadence! Oh, right. I knew it was by a random studio. Oh, this one, yeah. Like, am I insane for thinking that this is giving me Decadence vibes? No, I could see that. This is still a weird anime, too, though. Yeah, it was summer 2020 that was when it was aired. Oh, yeah, it's hard to believe 2020 was... Uh, a year ago? I know. But uh, moving on, let's go. We've already talked about Restaurant to Another World. Are you watching Hikke Monogatari? No, but it might be something I'll watch later. Is this part of the Back of Motor Country series? I don't know. No, no, it isn't. It's not even close. It's some random show. This girl look... Her... Okay, this voice actor for this character almost has the same exact haircut. I mean... In the bound to happen more than we think. Almost the same haircut, I'm gonna say. The bang... Yeah. Bang work with... Um... Better. Are oh. you going to be watching this weird show called uh, The Vampire... There are so many vampire shows. Like, they just the want... Vampire Dies in No Time. Ah, this one. I think... Was this like a heavy comedy one? Yeah, I this one's so. pretty I, heavy I, I Outside of that, I'm just going to go to the shows that I'm guaranteed watching now. Uh, uh, Yuki, you... What? No. Okay, well... Let's quickly run through. Are you Osama doing? This? Rank oh, you're right. Osama ranking. Yeah, it's this interesting one from which studio? Yeah, that's the one that I showed you the trailer to, right? Yeah, it's the one that has like I want to say Ghibli style animation. Kinda, yeah, kinda. Yeah. It just I'm gonna be honest. The animation and character design is not my cup of tea. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. No, 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 no. I found I found that one. I found that one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, no. It it looks it looks endearing. I know, but it's just one of the main reasons I don't like Ghibli shows is I don't like their character designs most of the time. Too soft for you? Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. huh. Next on the list is an interesting one. It is called The Fruit of Evolution. Before I knew it, I had my life made. Oh, no, 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 no. Is this the... <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, 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 what? no, no, no. Whoa, 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 what? Have you read it and hate it? <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> I've read it. I've read it, and I, I, I know. <laughs> no, no. Hirachi Se Seichi is an ugly, revolting, dirty, smelly. No, 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 no. There no. are insults hurled at him one <laughs> after another about his appearance. Such was Seichi's daily life of school bullying. No, no, then, no. For no. some reason, when school was out, a voice claiming to be God said over the PA system to prepare to be transported to another world. Typical What's Isekai, more, just even worse, honestly. No, 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 no. What's more, Sechi's not alone. Not, but not Sechi alone, the entire school. A fantasy world where game-like elements such as level, stats, skills exist. No, 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 no. The god has some preparations to complete the transfer and would send them over as soon as the hero summoning ritual was ready. The classes all formed groups and waited for the transfer, but Sechi alone was discluded and as such, was summoned to a different area. After being transported, the first thing Sechi ate was the fruit of evolution. This would, of course, greatly change his life. The story is about how Sechi went from mm -mm. being severely bullied to his classmates mm -mm. to even not even being recognized for his accomplishments. And despite mm -mm. staying forward, he somehow becomes one of the champions. Mm -mm. 
Oh, yeah, and apparently there's a monkey that turns into a girl. Yeah, a gorilla. A big gorilla. The, the I'm female so hyped <laughs> to see how much of a train wreck this show could be. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, no, no. You can't sit here and tell me you aren't interested. I'm not watching it. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Was it that bad? I'm not watching it. Fuck you, bitch. Uh, but yeah, no, I am watching it. I am excited. Second season of Yashahime. I still haven't finished the first one. I am excited. It airs tomorrow. I didn't finish the fucking first season. What about Deep Insanity, The Lost Child? Um, I have not heard of this one. Okay, what about S- Dude, Sankaku? Let's see, let's see, let's see. The new illness slowly but slowly caused by the huge underground world asylum that appeared in Antarctica. What? There are strange creatures from the earth and unknown creatures of people, but their lives in the depths of the mysterious new world to get huge wealth. Here alone, a young man with a wish in his heart t- trying to challenge the front line of asylum. What? I'm confused. This is a game one. I don't know. Seems weird. No, it isn't. Uh, what about Sankako Mado Sotogawa Wayoro? What is this one? Bookstore employee Mikado always had a tendency to see creepy shit. He had lived. He had lived his life pretending he didn't notice these things, but sadly, a fateful encounter with an exorcist named. Hiyakawa, Mikado, ends up being forced to help him out with exorcism duties. Is this a yaoi? I see a woman in the preview, so maybe not. This seems like it's banking on some homoerotic tendencies here. What about the new Blade Runner? Like, uh, I'm, I'm seeing this guy, like, even get really close and touch his lips and stuff. Wait, what like about that. the new Blade Runner? The anime? I don't I don't know. Blade Runner Black Lotus. I haven't read it. I haven't watched it. You know what is a show I'm excited about, even though it's gonna be just stupidly disgusting because that's what Move Love does? Move Love, Love, Love Alternative. Alternative. Yeah. Yeah, this show it, it pulls no punches. And it's interesting to see that, like, we're getting a Move Love series for the first time in almost five years. I'm ready for more titties. Since Schwarzermark in. I'm ready for more titties. And almost ten years since uh, Total Eclipse. I will say Total Eclipse wasn't that bad. Is Bill Divide Code Black a game anime? Bill... what? Bill Divide Code Black. Yep, it's no. a trading card game. It's a trading card game. No. Bye. Bye. You okay? Well, I'll probably take a look at it later, but All it's right. a trading card game. What about Selection Project? What the fuck is that? It's something from uh, Dogakoba. Oh. Another Every idol? summer, a national show called The Selection Project is the biggest gateway for girls who strive to be idols and a place where the legendary idol. Kari Amazawa was born. Suzuna Miyama is one of the ones who has longed for such a stage. Having been six since childhood, she listened to the Song of Light many times in her bed in a hospital. Akari's singing voice gave her a lot of smiles and courage and inspired her to follow in her footsteps. Is the first episode out already? Because I'm seeing a score. Yeah, it is already out. Jeez, people are going to look great right off the bat, dang. What, are people ranking it like five? No, the I mean, it's seven right now. It's just yeah, I don't know. trust Mal, that's obvious. But I, I personally so. don't think you should be able to rank shit on Mal until you've watched everything. This seems kind of in weird, but sure. Yeah, it feels seemingly. like something that you wouldn't be surprised turned out to be great. Yeah. Uh, what about this CGI mess known as Tesla Note? What is this one? Tesla it's a Note. manga. And I'm going to be Mission honest, T. the CGI is not great. Operation to save the world from destruction. Trained as a ninja from young age, Botan Nagoro raised to become the ultimate spy. She teams up with another excellent spy. Kuruma. 
Their aim is to recover the legacy of the genius inventor Nikola Tesla, the shards of Tesla, can two outwit the agents of other countries who are pursuing these fragments. A super original spy thriller begins. Oh, this is an original. Oh. Okay. In in interesting. Um, yeah. we'll, we'll Speaking see. of shows that never die, though, Yuki Yuna's having another season out of fucking nowhere. I mean, I've already watched the first bit, so I'll watch the first series, but, so I'll watch it, but, like, the past few seasons of Yuki Yuna have just, like, came straight out of nowhere. Like, I remember season three was like, wait, I remember season two was like, wait, I thought this series was over. Right, I feel like it should be, and now the third season's here. I'm yeah, no, I feel like it should be too, but apparently there's stuff here. I can't really Deesh. speak about the second season since it's been so fucking long. Uh, what about Megaton Musashi? That's the one from. Uh... It's the original work from OLM. Uh, being no the. It's the video game that's getting an anime. It's level five thing, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't remember if I saw the premise for this one or not. In an order in town, there are people who live peaceful, fulfilling life, but what they don't know is that it's a false peace. The untold truth, the Earth has been destroyed. 99% of humanity has been wiped out by a mysterious alien force. The enemy is named Dractors. Eventually, a large hole was drilled in the Earth, terraformed into a suitable environment for the aliens to live. Humans have no choice but to hide in shelters to escape their eyes, waiting for the day of resurrection. The inhabitants of Shelter Zia have had their memories of the day of destruction erased and live a normal life without knowing anything. However, some of them are chosen ones, having to become pilots of giant robots called the Rogue and fight against the aliens. Today, another pilot is selected. Oh. I mean, looks okay. Seems like Gundam meets level 5. I will say the CG is terrible at times. Like, when you get a chance, look at the preview and just look at how the robots look. What the hell is Deji Meets Girl? I'm sorry, what? A listless high, first year high school student girl who works part time at the front desk of her family's hotel in Okinawa meets an Ichiro Suzuki, a mysterious youth who came along from Tokyo as a hotel guest since Suzuki's arrival. Deji, things have been happening around Maisei main character mm. like fish swimming around the room or giant banyan tree smashing through the hotel ceiling deji is the okinawan word that means totally or very oh i feel like this is um aquatope of the sand meets something else here you know what show i have to watch because i'm canadian <sighs> Or a Pride of the Orange. It's literally a women's ice hockey. It's going to be fucking garbage. You're like, on ice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the only other show I'm watching is the Kyokai Senkai. The show from Sunrise that looks like a Gundam ripoff. I mean, Sunrise did do Gundam, so yeah. I know, but like, if they literally said this is in the Gundam universe, I wouldn't be shocked. You know, I'll probably watch it too because it's, it's Sunrise and Gundam and shit. Uh, that... Shiki Zakura. What the fuck? No, that... you... oh, oh, sorry. Um, is this a. It's, it's like Birdman versus something, man. What the heck? I. It. It. It looks like Power Rangers. Oh my god, that's CG! Lupin Third Part Six. I part haven't watched six, any bro. of the Lupins. 
spell is this? Gyakuten Sekai no Dinchi Shoujo. Just really died a new era. Something. I mean, there's a Digimon Ghost game coming out this from Koei. The Sky Toei. the Pearl, known as Reformer Materialism, with the Earth being Eternal Showa. The military invades the real Japan with giant humanoid robots called Garan and their gas weapons Genmu, rendering our modern weapons effective. Shinkoku Nippon instantly seizes the government and cheese de facto conquest of Japan. The new era, Reiwa, has not arrived for Japan. What the fuck are you talking about? Gyakuten se Sekai no Dinchi Shoujo, or Rumble Garandal. Oh. This is interesting. Oh, there's another Gundam. Digimon Ghost Game, yeah! yeah there's another Digimon coming out. I mean, Digimon, it might be... Digimon. Digimon. And then after that, it's just a couple kids Digimon. shows and another Card Fight Vanguard. Digimon, Digimon. So yeah, if... If you were saying what shows you're most interested to in the fall season, as we usually do, give me three. Give me, th give you three. Can I give you not ten or twelve? Well, what, well, what's the most you're interested in? Oh, Mi Miruku Chan, Miruku Chan, and Komi San are up okay. there. I think I don't know about one and two, but maybe tied for first, really. Uh, Michelle Gutense, yeah. I'm... Probably like a two there, yes. Yeah. Sayate no Paladin around three. <laughs> Isekai no Shok Isekai Shokudo four. Digimon Ghost Game five, and I'll leave it with the uh, World Trigger at six, third season. I'm For me, like, obviously, Kimetsu Niyaba has to be at the top. I want to see how this shit gets animated. It's going to be so good. I'm okay with that. 86 is another show. Mm -hmm. I'm interested to see how the show changes. Oh, now sorry. That, like... Seven. Kyokai Sen Senki. I forgot about that. Kyokai Senki. Seven. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Komi-san is third for me. Mm. Fourth, obviously, is JoJo. Mm-hmm. Now, this is where it get interesting. I'm not going to put Mashoko Tensei on this list, not because I'm not interested in it, but I, like, it's one of those things where I already expect it to be good. Okay. I won't put Tacto P there. At fourth or fifth? Fifth. Okay. That is a show that I'm looking at and I'm saying to myself, man, this could be good or it could just fall apart. Hmm. Six for me, probably Miroku-chan. And number seven is pretty much a toss-up, but... If I had to say anything, it'd probably be Yasuhime or Move Love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is the fall preview and summer review. We're almost done another calendar year of anime. <sighs> the next episode, we're hopefully going to kidnap some people for a game show. I'm going to take a gun and start shooting people. But anyway, this has been the latest episode of the ARPG podcast. I hope you guys enjoy it. Me and Chewie got to go fight in the God's Arena now. I mean, either we do a game show next time or we're just going to have to push for something else. We'll probably push for something else, more than likely seeing my inability to get everything set up properly but you know yeah, yeah but yeah the game show thing will happen eventually yeah 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 yeah. all righty that was a fun episode we will see you guys next time i i'm, I'm really fucking hungry i said f words a lot today mm -hmm. are you are you gonna go did you end the episode no no oh. i didn't you, 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 you,